Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming channel and another Minecraft Monday tutorial. If you uh, could quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So what have we got for you today? We have the uh, lava door, super secret lava door as you can see it's nicely hidden and if we uh, press the button, we are of course on creative at the moment but press the button the lava disappears and once it's all gone we can of course walk through and off to wherever we are going of course you can use this to hide things as well and then uh, press your button once again and the lava appears once again so super simple but uh, very effective as you can see you can hide this into like a fireplace or something depending on your uh, choices and your creativity but uh, the mechanics behind it are incredibly simple so what we're going to do we've set up uh, what uh, basically the tutorial for you and how we build this what you're going to need we'll have a little look into the chest here you're going to need obviously bits and pieces to decorate so a block of your choice stair blocks etc an anvil leaves however you're going to do it. You're going to need two dispensers you're going to need a few redstone, not too many, you're going to need one button and you're going to need two buckets of lava of course we want the uh, blocks of our choice as well so what we're going to do, we're going to punch out six blocks like so and then what we're going to do is take out one, two there one, two, there. Absolutely super simple. I'm sure everybody can manage that. We're going to put in, uh, let's say, a couple of uh, blocks there. We're going to put some temporary blocks there, there, and there. And we're going to grab the dispensers and place them there and there. And then take out those temporary blocks like so. Like I say, super simple so far. I'm sure everybody could uh, manage this one. So in one dispenser, we're going to put a lava bucket in another dispenser, another lava bucket. We're then going to be a little bit uh, creative. Put some stairs upside down there just to block that off. Of course, again, you can uh, do this however you like. Super simple nice and easy. We're then going to put our button on the wall just there or other side, whichever side you'd like to put it on but that's the simple bit done. Next up we're going to put two blocks up and a block just there and then run the redstone across the top like so, crouching and placing onto those dispensers there and just run a couple of blocks up like so. Then all you need to do, come on outside, press your button, and the door closes up nice and simple. Of course, can you press the button again, and it opens back up, the lava disappears, and the job is done. Super simple, but very effective. You can, of course, change these for uh, water if desired depending on uh, what effect you're trying to create let's uh, let's do that now just to see how it looks we of course uh, like I say uh, have done this tutorial or described this tutorial as a lava door but if you want to use it as water all you've got to do replace those buckets and there we go you can see see through but uh, you've got a little water door there and turn that off like so so there we go super simple but very effective again you can create these how you like but uh, it's as simple as that we can uh, like I said have done this as a door you can walk through to the next room etc or you can of course put those uh, chests just behind your chests etc grab some item frames 
hide your valuables, etc., behind the door. Let's uh, quickly turn that off. And uh, there we go, like so. Put those in there like that, so they're nice and hidden. You of course can place uh, your item frames down. Put your valuable pieces of kit away in the chest, or like so. Obviously, if this is lava, as this one is, you wouldn't see through. So. Uh, choice is completely yours but like we say it's super simple use it as a hide in your kit away or you can use it for an actual doorway but it looks super effective but like we say we can leave that for you to uh, design your own uh, bits and pieces around however you want to do it but there we go super simple enjoy thank you very much for watching this uh, simple tutorial if you enjoyed remember to drop us a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new of course but thanks for watching and bye for now